Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. You know, sometimes as a creative, as a content creator, you just get in a funk and you just can't think of quality things to produce. And that was me. I was in a funk. I was in a long, 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 long funk. And I really just wanted to try and figure out where I wanted my YouTube and where I wanted my Instagram or all of my social media to go. But recently, I've had a lot of ideas flowing. I've been really creative. So hopefully, you will be seeing more consistency from your girl. But that's not what this video is about. As you can see from the title below, this video is about how I have cleared out the darkness in my life and let in all of the light, let in all of the positivity, everything good, trying to keep out all of the bad. Earlier this year, I went through a breakup and it was a breakup that I thought was the worst thing ever, but it wasn't. Um, and I was, I was down about it for about a good two weeks. And then my mom just had a conversation with me. It wasn't even a conversation. It was my mom yelling at me, basically saying, what is wrong with you? Why are you letting a boy make you feel this down? Like, why? Like, a boy. Not even a good one at that. So, <laughs> and after that conversation, I was just like, you know what? You're right, Ma. You're right. And I think I cried for two minutes after that and didn't cry about it again after. Um, I had, you know, had moments of, of course, weakness of missing the person or whatever, but I wasn't crying about it anymore. And after that two minutes of crying, I... I decided that it was time to, you know, figure out who Kyla was, figure out the things that I wanted out of life. And that is what propelled me to be on this mental health and self-love journey. I decided to start looking into chakras um, and meditation and that allowed me to kind of become, and this may sound really weird, but it kind of allowed me to come, become a little bit more at one with myself and low-key the universe too. Like I just feel more spiritual um, and I don't know. I've, I have noticed a change within myself. Like I am a little bit more peaceful. I'm less rah! angry all the time and you know when you have a lot of dark negative energy in your life you know it really takes a toll on you and it changes it can change who you are at the core of your being and just make you a completely different person like at one point I was just there was one point I was really angry all the time. There was another point where I was just really sad all the time and people noticed it. And they're like, you're not your normal bubbly self, like why? And I had to sit back and really think about it. Like, I'm not my normal bubbly self because I have all of these different issues that I don't need to have. So I just decided to let that shit go. Like, I didn't have time for forced interactions. I didn't have time for situations where I felt inferior or where I felt anxious or I felt like I wasn't good enough. Like, who has time for that? Like, there's so much to do in 2018 that no one should have time to be upset and to be in this pit of darkness and I was over it 
and as soon as I decided that I was over it and that I was going to do whatever it took to be happy 100% all the way across the board with or without anyone in my life, that's when doors started opening up for me. I started getting more creative. I started thinking up more ideas. I started really, really trying to figure out my career as an actress. I, try, I really started to figure out my career as a social media influencer and a creator, whatever. And like I said, doors just started opening. It was like I closed all of these other doors and better ones started opening up like I like I said there was like a two-week period I I've been working at this um at this dress store and it was just draining and there was this two-week period where I just kept seeing six 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 everywhere and me knowing 666 to be a bad number, I'm like, am I about to, what's about to happen to me, you know? So, of course, I used Google, and I was like, why do I keep seeing the number 666? Like, when I tell you I was seeing this number everywhere, there was one day. The transaction number for a customer that I was helping, the last three digits were 666. Then their total came out to, I think, $76.66. The same person, same customer within, I realized those two things within less than a minute. And so I was like, okay, this is really creepy. So I decided to look up what the hell 666 meant. And it turns out that when you see 666, and I told y'all I became a little bit more spiritual from the whole chakras and stuff, but when you, when you see 666, that means that there is some sort of imbalance in your life. There is some sort of blockage. There's something that you are missing because you're doing other things that you don't really necessarily need to be doing. And it was crazy because I had been hating the job that I was at and I was just so drained I never had time for myself and I had gotten back to a, an unhappy place because I was just like I'm working so much and I'm barely making anything so what what purpose is this serving me I'm working so much barely making anything and I have no time to do the things that I love so I decided to quit. I had two other jobs that I could have been working at that would have oh, that were flexible enough for me to do like I said all of the other things that I wanted to so I quit. Literally that day I saw Tyla aka at Ty Lauren on Instagram one of my favorite influencers she posts about the four freshman class and four is basically just a social media marketing company that helps influencers and brands get together and basically four freshman class is this weekend retreat that's gonna happen in New York for underrepresented influencers and I was like oh my god I have to do this so I applied and you had to get testimonials and so I was like all right well let me just send this link to everyone within within maybe like four days I had had a, a hundred testimonials like I don't know how many I have now but I had a hundred testimonials and people were showing me you know what they were saying and I was like all of this positivity all of this positivity like that's what you know that's what we should feed off of that's what I should feed off of and I think all of the positive vibes that I was getting then made me 
even more realize there's no need for negativity and I had a conversation with my mom another one she wasn't yelling at me this time <laughs> but I had a conversation with my mom and she was basically just like drop any dead weight like if they're not serving a purpose if they're not making you happy if it's not making you happy if it's not serving a purpose he she it whatever leave it alone and that's and that's what I have decided to do and what I am trying to get at by telling you guys this is that in life you need to do what's going to make you happy you need to do what's going to bring you the utmost peace because at the end of the day your happiness matters more than anybody else's i struggled with letting shit go because i felt like okay well you know maybe if i just you know keep this at an arm's distance that you know it couldn't you know it couldn't bother me like if i just put it off to the side it couldn't bother me but that's almost like having a bomb in your hand and you know at any given point this bomb can go off but you don't know exactly when but you have the option to throw it far far away so that it does not hurt you why are you gonna still hold on to the bomb i don't know i don't know why i was doing it so i decided to let go all of the situations that could have been in that bomb i let go and as soon as i did that even more creativity started flowing that is why i am able to be filming this video right now because the creativity is flowing I was literally sitting on my break today and I was like yo you should write something about you know how you let go all of this darkness and then as I'm writing it I'm like yo why don't you film it why don't you put it on YouTube or Instagram and then as I'm writing it and thinking about how I'm gonna film it I'm thinking of all of these other ideas of YouTube videos and content and I'm like finally I am out of this little funk this big funk because it's been a while I say all of that to say once again let go of the darkness that's holding you back let in the light let in the positivity let in all of the good stuff because if you're holding in all of the bad and all of the negative, how are you going to have any room for the positive, for good things? You can't. That's just it. So I hope that this video helps somebody, somewhere, somehow, some way. <laughs> Follow me on IG at Kyla Gabrielle. That's me like this video go look at my other videos from a long long time ago subscribe hit the bell so that you get notified <laughs> when i post and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>